Welcome to New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park's virtual performance series. The mission of the park is to serve the nation as a global leader in the dissemination of New Orleans jazz by enhancing and instilling a public appreciation and understanding of the origins, early history, development, and progression of this uniquely American music art form, jazz. The video begins with River Road African American Museum founder Kathy Hambrick, centered in front of the performance stage, introducing Don Vappi and the Creole Serenaders. For the performance, the band is spaced evenly across the stage with the piano on the far left and the drum set on the far right. Behind the band is a mural depicting legendary musicians from New Orleans history, along with a banner and our American flag. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the following presentation. My name is Kathy Hambrick, and I am the founder of the River Road African American Museum. This concert is being filmed in recognition of one of America's greatest jazz musicians, Joe King Oliver. I'd like to thank Don Vappi and the Creole Jazz Serenaders and the New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park for bringing this series of concerts as a part of the rural roots of jazz. I'd like to say to the boys in the band that I know you too probably have roots upriver in sugarcane country. So please come and see us at the River Road African American Museum or go to our website, www.africanamericanmuseum, and experience the virtual tour to learn more about the musicians from the country who came to the city to create the world's greatest music. Hey, everybody, we're back, and we're doing another tune for you this week. This one is one that I'm sure you're all familiar with because a lot of King Oliver's music has continued to be part of the New Orleans repertoire, even today. So um, this is one I'm sure you've heard in many, many different forms. But this particular version is going to be from his 1929-1930 sessions. And it's the St. James Infirmary Blues. And I sure wish we could have got some bells to come out, because he played those, those big chimes you used to see on Duke Ellington's bandstand. That was part of this original recording. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. The St. James Infirmary Blues. Thank you. 